Britain's nuclear deterrent was born in the Cold War, a response to the threat of nuclear annihilation by Soviet Russia. But in today's world, does the country really need a weapon system capable of delivering destruction on a massive scale? The submarines carrying Britain's nuclear missiles must be replaced soon, but the coalition is split, so it agreed to a review. And today the Liberal Democrat part of the government said the review was clear. You could have a scaled-down version of today's deterrent. We shouldn't be so hidebound by old-fashioned Cold War assumptions that we're not willing to change and update our policy to meet the circumstances of today. That's what I'm arguing for. I'm arguing for an option which continues to protect this country, but which enables us to play a role in disarmament too. Currently, Britain has four submarines, each armed with 16 missiles. This allows one submarine always to be at sea. A like-for-like -like replacement for this system could cost £25 billion. The alternative proposed is to reduce the fleet by one or even two subs. That would mean at times there would be no submarine at sea, but it could save up to £4 billion. You're sort of maintaining surveillance of the lock, are you? The current Defence Secretary is a Conservative, and he, along with his party, says this is not the time to play about with a system which has served us well for 40 years. At a time when uh, Russia is spending $150 billion uh, rebuilding its armed forces, including its nuclear forces. Iran is attempting uh, to obtain nuclear warheads to put on its existing ballistic missiles. I think this would be uh, an extremely uh, foolhardy thing to do at this stage. The argument centres on the continuous at-sea deterrent, CASD as it's known in the jargon. If you don't have a sub permanently at sea, do you really have a credible deterrent? Some defence experts say yes you do. A short notice deterrent, but one that wasn't always in patrol, would still provide very significant deterrent capability. CASD continuous at sea patrolling might provide a little bit more, but the idea that without having a boat in patrol at all times, there's no point in having it, I don't think that holds water. Along with the Conservatives, Labour support a like-for-like -like replacement. The final decision on the future of Britain's deterrent is pencilled in for 2016. That's the other side of an election. Andy Bell, 5 News.